Hey guys, it is the fourth day of Fashion Revolution Week. Check out the hashtag if you don't know what that is. And I am doing a alternative video to raise awareness about thrift store shopping, which, if you know me, is my favorite thing. So a haul alternative video is an alternative to the haul videos which are floating around on YouTube these days. And if you're not familiar with that term, a haul video is basically where someone will go to a store, they'll buy a bunch of things, and they'll come back and brag about it on the internet. The issue with many of these videos is that they promote thoughtless spending. They just tell you to go out and buy a bunch of stuff because look how happy I am and how cute and how cheap and how exciting and just convince us that we need to go shopping. On the other hand, I love shopping, and I'm sure many of you do as well, whether or not it's for clothes. So this is a celebration of many of the clothing I have found secondhand shopping, uh, which of course is better for the environment. It gives old clothing a second life, contributes less waste, and of course I can still be creative, I can express myself through my clothing, I just go about it in a way that is less wasteful and easier on my pocketbook. So without further ado, let's get started. There's three <laughs> thrift stores that I'm gonna reference in this video. One is Housing Works. They have many different locations around New York City and they're very cool because all of the money that comes in from the clothes they sell goes to benefit AIDS research. The other two thrift stores I'll mention are Value Village, uh, this specific location being in Spokane, Washington, my hometown, and Beacon's Closet, which is also here in New York and has uh, locations throughout Brooklyn and Manhattan. This is the first piece. This was my winter jacket this past year, so I've only had it one season, but it has worn amazingly because I wore it pretty much every day in winter. It is a wool toggle coat by Rag and & Bone, and it was about $65 at Housing Works. I love it. We're getting started off with a bang. This is my favorite of everything, hands down. It was $5.40 at the Spokane Value Village. It was one of the pieces that I just saw and was like, I must adopt this. So this is actually a uh, skirt suit. There's a velour or velvet skirt here, and the top here has a little peplum at the back. It also has this amazing sequin action going on. In all honesty, no sane person should wear shoulder pads this big, but I absolutely love this. I've already worn it out and gotten major compliments. I wear the skirt to work because it's totally normal without the jacket. I'm going to start this one off close so you can see the detail of this shirt. This is a silk shirt with lace sleeves. It's by the brand Equipment. I wear it to work all the time and it is an excellent, excellent quality shirt. If you can find equipment used, I highly recommend them. And I think this was $35 at Housing Works, uh, which was a great steal for a blouse that would otherwise have put me out probably $150 to $200. So the past couple items I shared with you, I've had for probably about a year now. These I have only had for a few months, so this is their debut season. It's a pair of high-waisted black trousers, if you can't see them, by the brand Wilfred. And I think these were probably about $18. They were definitely less than $20. It's possible they were as low as $13. Um, but they wear very well, and I'm totally in love with them. I'm glad that this came up because I was just starting to get self-conscious that everything I've showed you has been black. Um, <laughs> this is a Theory blazer that I got at Housing Works. It is the most expensive thing I think I've ever purchased used. It was $100. I'm going to level with you. I did not buy this because I need it. I bought it because it looked incredible on me. <laughs> it's actually very rare to find something that fits a petite body here well. And rant. Anyway, I may have bought this on impulse, but I'm really glad I did. I think it's really important when you find something that fits you really well to just spring for it. It's difficult to find uh, at thrift stores and usually will be worth your money if it's not something totally insane. So this is one of my very favorite dresses in the entire world. I bought it in college um, seven years ago <laughs> in Seattle. Uh, at a store I forgot to mention, at Buffalo Exchange, which is another great, great resource if you like thrift store shopping. This is 100% silk, which is probably why it's worn so well over the years. I've only ever hand washed it with Castile soap and just let it drip dry. Uh, I don't take really anything to the dry cleaners unless I really, really have to because they're a pollutant mess and weird.
All right, last but not least, because I need to wrap this up, these are a pair of fry boots that I got at Beacon's Closet just this last fall. They were $60, not bad for a pair of shoes, especially fries, and they are awesome. All right, that wraps up everything. Thank you so much for watching. If you did all the way through that slog of crazy, um, please post some of your own favorite thrifted items and feel free to tag me. I love looking at this stuff. Total nerd. And don't forget to celebrate Fashion Revolution Week by hashtagging your photos with that as well. Oh, this and this were also thrifted. How about that? Cash me outside.